international airport. I saw nobody ever made a video about, what do you do? Well, you just arrived at the airport. Where do you go? How do you get a taxi? Can you get a SIM card? All those things. So I'm trying to answer those questions today. So first we need to exchange a little bit of money and um, you for one dollar you get 150 rupees which is actually a pretty good rate. Outside is maybe 154 right now so it's not big of a difference. All right so there's supposed to be free wi-fi here. Let's see if it works. Let me put my SIM card off because I actually have a local SIM card. Apparently sometimes there's a problem with Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi does not work today. That's nice. There's like grass plants in the middle of uh, the airport. So there's a little snack shop and... This is all 180, which is like $1.20, and that's 300, which is $2. And that's actually not bad. In general, at airports, everything is way overpriced. But this is not bad. So I'm gonna buy Mountain Dew, which is a local Pakistani drink. And it's, huh? You buy me? Oh, they'll buy it for me. Thank you guys, that's awesome! That's, that, that is what, what you get in this country, just the hospitality is really, really awesome. Thank you guys. That's nice. This, this, I, just, I think I just told it here, it was 100 rupees, which is about 70 dollar cents at the airport, you know? Hey guys, I'm at the taxi stand right now and I am going to see what the prices of the taxis are. Normally I would take an Uber or a Kareem, but for that you need a local phone number and a SIM card. And you cannot get one at the airport. So that's something I think Islamabad should do something about. If you can get a, at least a SIM card at the airport. So I'm going to see what the prices of the cabs are, but obviously I do have a SIM card. So I'm going to my... Kareem app. Okay, so the estimated fare to Islamabad backpackers is between 580 and 680. We're going to the backpackers hostel in Islamabad as that's the cheapest choice for a backpacker. Um, I found that on Hostel World, uh, the app. And obviously you can also book a hotel on booking.com. I'll also show a hotel later. So now we're gonna see how much uh, difference that's gonna be right here because you know it's the biggest fear of a tourist to get ripped off and in general Pakistanis are really 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 fair uh, but you know an airport you never know. Alright so the first taxi I found is 1500. It's a bigger car though so they're usually a little bit more expensive but um, I'm gonna find, I'm gonna walk a little bit further. Let's take the small car over here. Hello. How much is it to uh, E11 Backpackers Hostel? He says 1,000. It's a small car, but that is I know. Uh, how about 800? 800. <laughs> no? Yes, no. No? Okay, I'll think about it. Maybe I come back. Thank you. Alright, let's try another one. Are you taxi? Taxi. Okay, I need to go to E11 Backpackers Hostel. That's it, that's right. How much? 800. Okay? Yeah? 800. Okay, we're going for 800. That is uh, $6, $7 for about 30, 40 kilometers. That's really, really good. So this guy did not have a taxi stand and that is because he's actually also a Kareem driver. I think we made a pretty uh, good price and now we're going to the hostel. I'll show you the hostel and after that um, we need to get a SIM card. Alright, we arrived. 
it. Let's walk to the hostel. All right, so Google Maps dropped me off on the main street right there. But you gotta go in here and then walk there, just so you know. So the hostel is apparently in that building, uh, uh, number 609. And here I have to show my driver's license, identity, passport, whatever, to check in. Gentleman is showing me the way. All right, we're gonna take the elevator to the sixth floor. So this is Farah from Backpackers Hostel Islamabad. I'm gonna show you the place a little bit. Like that's a seating area, and then here is the kitchen. It's kind of everything from what like a European hostel is like. Um, the dorm room is over here. I'm your, hello, how are you? And yeah, you know, it's like, it's like a European dorm room and um, it's mixed. So males and females can stay here. And now I'm gonna show you a private room. Uh, the, the price of the dorm room is, $8. Eight dollars. Okay, 1250 rupees, $8. And the private rooms are? Um, rupees is fine, rupees is fine. It's 2500. 2500 rupees. 2500 rupees is? Okay. Cool. $16. $16. Okay, let's, let's, let's go show a private room. <laughs> I just forgot to push on the record button, that was very dumb. I just introduced himself, we can do it again. You're from? Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. UK, Pakistan, no. UK, Pakistan, Switzerland, and India. I live in New York. Oh, you live in New York? Yes. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, very uh, multicultural here. And this is one of the private rooms, this one with double beds, but they also have with, uh, um, you know, one double bed. And you can stay here with your girlfriend or with your wife. So this is the view from the hostel. There's actually a football field over there, which is fun. Yeah, overlooking a part of Islamabad. So now I need a SIM card. And I want to go to Quetta TNT, that's a, a, a nice square, which I think will be a great first place to go to. Uh, but I don't have a SIM card yet, so I can also not book a motorbike. Because you can book motorbikes here and it's much cheaper than a car. So at the hostel, they can book a motorbike for me to Quetta TNT. And from there, I can get my SIM card and then I can order all those things myself. You also have Wi-Fi here, right? Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, <laughs> let's go. This is my uh, Uber bike. Uh, what's your name? Hasib Reza. Okay, I cannot pronounce that. <laughs> Hasib. Hasib. Okay, and in Pakistan the driver needs to wear a helmet and the passenger does not need to wear a helmet. I'm not saying necessarily that that's a good thing, but that's just the rules of the country. So, let's go! motorbike it's two blocks further which I think is about four or five kilometers was uh, 55 rupees which is 30 35 dollar cents so yeah <laughs> motorbikes are really cheap here all right let's get a sim card I'm at a zone franchise uh, there are always many signs of Zong, uh, but the small shops where there's a sign of Zong is more to top up your um, already existing SIM cards. 
but you have to go to a Zong franchise uh, to get a SIM card. So that is where the motorbike dropped me off. So that is what we're gonna do now, because always when I arrive in a new country, that is the first thing I need, internet. So at a Zong franchise, they're always English speaking people. And um, what's the price of the SIM card? Okay, so for 500 rupees, which is three and a half dollar, you get a SIM card and two and a half gigabytes of internet. And, and what do I need? I need my passport. Yes. And visa, right? Yeah. That's everything. Yeah. All right, so I just got my SIM card. Okay, that's not true. I already had a SIM card because I already got it here three months ago. But now I can receive all my messages, everything, and I'll put on my uh, Google Maps Quality, which is like two minute walk from here. <laughs> if you need money from a bank and you have a visa card, which you should have if you're a smart traveler, then you generally don't have a problem. If you're a less smart traveler like me and you travel the world with a Maestro or MasterCard, which gives much more problems, then um, it's best to go to Alfala Bank or MCB Bank. Uh, they generally accept Maestro uh, MasterCard, MasterCard cards. So this is the square of Quetta T. Actually Quetta T is over there. I'll show you soon. Uh, in the evening this is full with tables and everybody's sitting here and drinking tea. Uh, right now the chairs and tables are not there. But I'll make a drone shot here and I'll show at least how the square looks like because otherwise I've been carrying my drone in my backpack for nothing the whole day. So let's do that now. I just ordered one mango juice and here it is 150 which is exactly a dollar. Now I've asked around the shops here and it's everywhere 150. Where I live in Pindi it's only 60 so it's less than half. But I guess you know the property prices and everything here are much higher too. So a dollar is still pretty good. Mm. It's delicious. I have to be really, really honest. They do put three tablespoons of sugar in it. Uh, so that makes it a little bit less healthy. But it does taste really good. All right, now on to Quetta. So I ordered a honey parata and tea because, you know, it's Quetta tea, you gotta order tea because that's the thing to order. And now that we just got internet, we can or we can install the Kareem or the Uber app and now we can go anywhere we want and we have navigation. I think that we are basically set now. This is the cinnamon parata for 150, one dollar. And then tea for 50, which is 35 cents, hmm. As a uh, foreign tourist, if you get into the countries, there are three things I'd recommend to always take with you. One is water. This is not a water bottle, but there's water in it. Um, two is toilet paper, because half of the toilets uh, have that spray thing. So unless you're used to the spray thing, take some toilet paper with you. And the third thing is sunscreen and or a cap, because it can get pretty hot here. And now I'm going to enjoy my honey prata. All right guys, thank you very much. I want to show you guys uh, an uh, expensive, hey, Korean driver. Hi, come here. <laughs> the Korean driver wants to drive away. So just ordered a Korean from my own phone. This is my Korean driver now. And now we're going to the Marriott Hotel. Hotel. This is like the place I love but cannot afford. Mm. 
So many foreigners think that you cannot drink alcohol in this country and that is not true. As a foreigner you can buy alcohol amongst others in this hotel and in the Best Western and in a couple of other hotels. So just so you know. gorgeous here they have a live band and everything is fresh buffet nice coffee but the coffee is the cheapest coffee about uh, four dollar I guess for an international chain that's still pretty good uh, so yeah if you're into this oh look at that those look really nice if you're into that this is a great option let's see what the room prices are all right so including tax it's 165 us dollar per night which i have no idea how it internationally is the prices but uh yeah if you're into that that's then this is for you for me it's too expensive um <laughs> this was the end of the vlog i hope you uh, can do something with the information in this video and uh, yeah, if you like my videos, subscribe. See you next time.